Hey guys, welcome back to JD's Arcade. Today we're going to play and review one of my all-time favorite games for the Super Nintendo, Super Metroid. The Planet Zebes is made up of six huge non-linear sections. The surface area, which is under a constant deluge of rain, is called Criteria. Brinstar is a jungle area with a heavy maze of foliage. An underground water world, Meridia, is full of killer crustaceans and ferocious fish. Deep below the surface of the planet lies the unbearably hot Norfair. The remains of an astronaut crash compromise the wrecked ship and Turian is the control center for the space pirates and mother brain. Throughout the game, you must break down color-coded doorways that were designed to prevent intruders from roaming into restricted areas. As you run, jump, spin, roll, and shoot your way through strange, mysterious, threatening passageways, you can fire upon Chozo statues which will reveal special items that help you in your mission. You can collect missile tanks, power bombs, a grappling beam, which enables you to swing into certain areas, an x-ray scope, allowing you to see hidden passages, and energy tanks. When you destroy enemy creatures, they sometimes leave behind missiles and energy balls. Super Metroid is a 24 meg cartridge, and it includes a battery for saving your progress. Unlike the original Metroid, a mapping system is available to help you track your mission. There are several endings to the game depending on how much time you spend trying to beat it. A shorter time results in a more spectacular finale. The game is followed by a number of sequels. What's your favorite memory of this game?